I have a few easy start systems. Uh, this one here, the motor went out. Uh, it will go out after a while because they, they're either really, really old or sometimes moisture, they get too wet. This is the part number, 5279. Uh, as of the time of this video, this was the price of the motor. Uh, this comes with a gear already installed and it also comes with this little brass bushing that is in a different little bag right in there. Uh, I do have to repair two of them, uh, but uh, you will have to remove these three screws right in here, and this will separate uh, the case. Now you could go with a pull start system. Pull start systems are, I would say, pretty reliable until you break the string, but you know, at that point you can get another pull start system. Uh, they're not that expensive. Uh, I do like these electric ones just because they're easy. I just use the easy wand and you know, vehicle will start and if it takes a little longer. I'm not pulling on a pull start, especially when it's cold. Uh, if you have the proper glow plug and your uh, glow igniter is charged as it should be. It shouldn't be that difficult. Uh, sometimes six pulls and it'll start. Now here, remember the screws, we have the large, medium, and small. Uh, and they're actually the same size. So those are the same size, just the large one here at the bottom. Uh, these, we'll go ahead and remove. These are the ones that to the engine. Just place them there so I wouldn't lose them. I actually have a pull start on this one right now. Now there's reasons why you may want to consider a pull start on some vehicles and that's for weight savings. Pull start is lighter and on some vehicles people don't even put pull starts. They just have a plate that covers that rear part of the engine and then they just use a start top box. Now, here are the gears that we have in here. Uh, one of the things that you will notice is the lithium grease. Now, this is pretty old. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and assemble everything just for the video and then after that I'll maintain it. That's your one-way bearing. Sometimes those go out. Do you have a new one? Uh, the purpose of this is the motor. All right. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and pull this out, and I'm pulling it out this way. So everything's coming from the top up. It just makes it easier to assemble and disassemble. And what we have here is we have the planetary system. So these are the gears in here. Now, I have never seen these go out yet, and I hope I never do, but they, they just pull out. Pushing back in. And it's just that secondary screw. Get out of the way. Too far. There we go. So if your uh, easy starts starts clicking, it could be a bad connection, just false contact from the wand and the harness, or it could be that your motor's out. But here it is. So here's the old motor, and the new motor's already set, ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and install this one. And the holes, these are the two holes. 
that you need to line up to set the screw. Now at this point, I'm gonna go through and clean everything off camera, so I'm not gonna worry about it, but at this point you may wanna put some thread lock on your screws so that they do not back out, hit the gears, and then next thing you know, the gears are hitting that screw, and that's the reason why your pull start is not working. Keep that in mind. I'll tighten this later. Get these screws out of the way so I can fit, sorry, the gears out of the way so I can fit the screw in. And you can clean all of this with just a little towel that's a little damp in alcohol. All right, this one's gonna be tightened. Do not over tighten this because you are tightening plastic. Don't want to destroy this. All right, I'll go ahead and grab this one. That is it. Oh. Yeah, we'll worry about it once I do everything else, but this will go in there. And you take this and those, these little parts here, those go inside of the gears. Right, the better choice is just to remove all three. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, this way I can just Align the teeth out here. There we go. Much easier. And now I can just drop this one in. And once I have that, there's the bushing. I'm gonna go ahead and cover everything up. Well, I mean, there's no teeth for me to grab on and, and to rotate this. There. All right. That is it. So that would be your pull starts. Then after this, uh, just install the large screw here, the two little ones right over there, and then uh, it's ready to install in the truck. Uh, just remember, that's the positive terminal, the one with the little red dot. This is going to be your negative. Uh, I hope this was helpful. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please comment uh, if you have any questions or any suggestions or any other options. And uh, please subscribe if you have not. Thank you so much.